today. It's Pastor Jedediah here at Eau Claire Evangelical Missionary Church in Northern Ontario with another encouragement from the Word of God. And we've been in Acts chapter 2 and verse 42 and some of the verses afterwards, just looking at some of the very basics of what church was when it when it started out. When the Holy Spirit came, this is what it looked like for church. And in Acts 2.42, it says they spent their time learning from the apostles and they were like family to each other. And they also broke bread and, and prayed together. So and as they did this, um, God did some amazing things. It says in verse 43, everyone was amazed and many miracles and wonders that the apostles had worked. All the Lord's followers often met together and they, they shared everything they had. They would sell their property and possessions and give the money to whoever needed it. And day after day, they met together in the temple and they broke bread together in different houses and shared their food happily and freely while praising God. Everyone liked them. And each day, the Lord added to their number those that were being saved. Wow, that's a great thing. I want to be part of a church like that. And I believe that God's doing that in many churches around the world. But we have to get the fundamentals right, the, some of the basics, you know, listening to the teaching of Jesus and actually doing it, um, enjoying being time, spending time together, uh, fellowshipping together, uh, eating together, and, and, and praying together. Today, I want to focus on verses 44 and 45. All the Lord's followers often met together. They shared everything they had. They would sell their property and possessions and give the money to whoever needed it. Now, Jesus dealt with this actually just before he entered Jerusalem for the last time. On the way there, a rich young ruler came to him and said, I want to be part of your team. And Jesus said, well, first of all, how are you doing with the commandments? And I'm summarizing, obviously. And the rich young ruler said, I'm doing really well with all these commandments. And he lists a whole bunch of these doing really well with. And Jesus looks at him and said, okay, there's one thing you need to do. You need to sell everything you have and give it to the poor. No questions asked. And then come follow me. Now I say no questions asked because sometimes we were, we're willing to give things to people as long as they do what we want with those things. The implication of Jesus is just sell it and give it to the poor. But the man couldn't do that. He had too many great things. He turned and walked away and Jesus let him go. And he said, how hard is it, it is for a rich to come into the kingdom of God? But he said, it's like a camel going through the eye of a needle. It's just not possible. However, with God, all things are possible. And we see that happening right here in this church. Because they were following Jesus and they were doing some of the, the things that are just the most normal parts of church, God showed up. And everyone was amazed. And miracles happened. But I think one of the biggest miracles is these people were freed from their need to possess things. They didn't have some government force them and say, no, you are all equal. No, God moved on their hearts and they shared. They say they, they did say they sold all their properties or possessions, but when they needed to, they didn't have a problem with it. They were generous. So that's what this group is, is like. They have respect for God. God's moving through them, and they're generous. No wonder later on it says that people are added to their group. Of course, the opposite is that they um, they feared men and opinions and, and didn't want to offend people. Um, and none of their prayers were ever being answered, it seemed. And um, they were stingy. Yeah, I, I could see not wanting to be part of a group like that. But that's not what God did. And I believe that it's... We need to be doing what God asked us to do. Sometimes, sometimes, especially in North America, we have tons of Bible studies and we learn much. Uh, some people go away to university to learn things. But we don't do what we learn. We're, we're not actually putting into practice those elements. And as a result, we just end up with maybe the, some more pictures of that negative like church. But I think if we actually do what God is teaching us, it's going to be amazing what God does in me and in you and in our church. So again, if you want to follow up more of this series, uh, go ahead and go to the Eau Claire 
Evangelical Missionary Church YouTube site and be encouraged this week. Spend some time doing these things, listening to the teaching of the Lord. Fellowship with him, with other believers. Maybe have a coffee with someone or a meal and pray together. And let's just see what God can do. Have a great week. God bless. Thank you.